Hello, my YouTube world. This is Johnny Mail coming to you today with a product review of a piece of equipment. It's our newest piece of equipment of our war on leaves. And that's right, it is a war. If you've been following me, you know how much I hate leaves. So let's get into this, tell you what I think, and answer the question Is it worth it? Hello YouTube world, this is Johnny Moe coming to you today with a product review. As I said in the intro, is it worth it? So, to answer that question, it really depends on what you have, how much you have, and, and some of it actually depends on your physical condition. So, as you know in the past, uh, there's many ways to do leaves. You can take a, a mower with a quick shoot and a... Um, pair of gator blades you can mulch them up you can blow them with a little wonder a billy goat you can have a leaf loader on the put on the back of your truck you can have all these things i've done them every which way as i've gotten older leaves have become very difficult and you know i've done them every way i've had a leaf loader i've had uh, the box truck where you get them to the curb you suck them up you you use a mower to to mulch them you use a little wonder blower and then last year at the end of the year i said i'm going to get one of these uh, i'm tired of walking miles and miles and miles and no i don't make a lot of money on leaves it's not you, you know these these are between eight and thirteen thousand this is the smallest version I just picked this up. It's a Ferris. I had zero hours on it, and now it has 7.2 hours on it. It's two weeks old, um, so it's not a lot of hours. But I can tell you, as Brian from Lawn Maintenance, a friend of mine, would say, it's a game changer. It is a game changer, guys. But Johnny, you can only you can only use it just for one. When it's gonna sit? I don't care. I, it, it the time saving. If you're doing leaves. And you're making over five thousand dollars in that month. This should be on your trailer, um, especially if you're doing condos, you're doing industrial parks. Um, me that has lawns that has acres on it, um, you definitely want to be using something like this. They make a big model. This is the smallest model. This is thirty-five hundred CFM. Um, you have you have the air coming out of there if you want it to. And you have the air coming out of there if you want to. And some of the things, this is how you control which side. You just push this pedal down, it'll come out there. You push the pedal over there, come out. Right here, it's closed off. Um, some of the things I really like about it's compact, it's quick, it's powerful. Um, it has an 18 horsepower. I have noticed that if you're trying to go full speed with these, it will bog the engine down a little bit going up a hill. Um, I've noticed that the front end does come up a little bit if you get crazy with it. It just, you know, Ferris Hydro seem to be really responsive and reactive. And as soon as you hit those, I can pop those up if I wanted to. Going up over a curb, like something like that, you could pop it up if you're not careful. So if you're not used to riding a stand-on and the nuances and the things, this could be a little sketchy for you. I've not had trouble on heels with this thing. I have not had trouble with heels. Side to side's been perfect, but I think you got to be aware. I think you got to be, you know, paying attention when you're using something like this. Uh, the power's been great. I was able to do blow in five minutes. Now I did this over the weekend. I blew all those leaves, all of this, my back lawn, my basketball court. That's my basketball court. There's leaves behind it. I'm not going to walk up there. And all of my neighbors from down there, there in five minutes with it. And I did not have to walk. To me, that's, to me, in five minutes, that's, that's perfect. You know, having a big property that you're cut, you're, it's over an acre and there's woods there, but you know, it just takes so long with a little wonder. So what you would do is you would try to bag it up. I would take my big Z master with my bagger. And, and then I, I would bag them up. I would just 25 loads. You'd stop and go. Two passes, dump. Two passes, dump. And, and or, or just take the, the grandstand and, and just mulch them into oblivion. Just mulch, 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 mulch. Well, guys, there's some areas that you really don't want to mulch. 
Like take for instance that little shaded area. It's real shaded, the grass is real thin. You're not gonna be able to take those whole woods and all the leaves that could potentially fall there and try to grind them into nothing where the grass is thin. It works better where there's thick grass. So you're gonna have to blow all that in or, or cut all that to a thicker area to where you can actually maneuver the leaves and hide them. Cause you're not gonna hide leaf dust in a thin lawn. So having this, knowing that I have a wood line behind the house, I just took it from there, blew everything into the woods, but five minutes, that's five minutes. So you can keep up with properties now instead of going there grinding. So my technique the last couple years has been uh, take the bagger system off. I've got mulch blades on there, gators, and go through, grind up, blow all the beds out, grind them all up, and whatever's left, just bag them up through there. Or if it's just lightly covered, like something like that, something just slightly covered, I would just go ahead and bag it. Um, but when you start getting into heavier leaves, it fills up the baggers quickly. So you're kind of like always dumping, and, it, and it's just a mess. So is this overkill? Yes. Is it worth it? Yes. You know, I demoed this for a friend of mine and he has a huge condos and I just showed him the benefit of just blowing it out and the condos are in woods. You can go along the woodside, just blow all that out in minutes instead of taking hours and hours and hours. Um, is this for everyone? No, but is it a game changer? Yes. This is perfect for me. It's small. I put this little blower all the way up into that corner. I'm able to load my zero turn, carry my carry my 30 inch push mower. I still got my 9010 on the wall. I still got an uh, the 800 there. All my gas. I got everything in here. It's 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 small. It's compact. It's out of the way. Now, what are some of the negatives of this thing? The cost, obviously the cost. But how can you put? A cost on time how can you how can you you know the savings of the time the labor you know pushing that little one is the little wonder a great blower absolutely it's a monster 13 horsepower eighteen hundred dollars yes it's a monster it, it works good but it's pushing it all month long up a hill this is a slight grade guys this is a slight grade you can't see it but it goes uphill so to use the little wonder, you got to push it uphill. And then as the little wonder is being pushed back, it's still, it's still, you have to keep hold of it because it's still putting pressure as you're, as you're coming down the hill, you got to hold it because you have a 160 pound machine that you're trying to keep. Oh, Johnny, they make billy goats are lighter. The billy goats actually three or four pounds heavier. So go figure. Um, but this machine you know, in the last two weeks has just saved so much time. I've been able to get back to properties quicker. Uh, I don't have to wait till all these trees fall in a massive amount now because this can just go over a property really quickly. Um, for example, last year I did a, a leaf cleanup that takes me three hours to do. And using the crunch method, using the little wonder next to the woods, using the crunch methods out into the field. Well, I just took the field with this blower and blew it into the woods in one hour. That's all I did. I didn't have to cut it. I didn't have to one hour versus three hours. That's the time saving. One hour, just blowing everything into the into the woods. Just taking the front lawn, wrapping it around the driveway, taking it back down over to the gully. And I used to do it in parts. I would do the back lawn with a little wonder and I'd push it up, up and down the hill. And all I had to do was use this. I took the whole front, I took the field and blew it into the woods. Where last year I just bagged it all up or I crunched it all up because it's 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 in the woods. So I crunched it all up, then bagged up what was left. It takes time, it took me three hours. This, one hour. That's it. Three hours, one hour. I can do more, I feel more. Um, I feel more um like I can get more done. Obviously I have two extra hours, but you actually feel like going to the next one doing. After a three hour leaf cleanup, you're like, ah, oh, man, backpack's been on your back for a long time. Also some of the things I do is I wear the backpack. I wear the 9010, I'll stand here, stand right up on here, and then I'll put the, put the, 
the tube right here and then I'll uh, when I need to jump off with it I'll just jump off and blow off what I need to blow off like a bed real quick and still use the blower another thing I like about the Ferris model is that I can jump off here and still use this as a wind tunnel so I can just point it other models like the Toro makes one for the for the multi-force and the windstorm you have to be on the mower because it's a safety thing. So you have to, it's it's a it's a PTO driven, and you have to be on using it. So the wind's only blowing when you're when you're actually using the machine, like when you're physically on the machine. This I can set it up and make a wind tunnel and blow into the wind tunnel. Now, what are the cons of that? Well, when I shut it off, when I shut the both sides off and I drive it in the trailer, there's still a little air that gets. And it blows some dust around the trailer. So that's a con. And then it makes a real loud uh, real loud noise, like a, a whining noise, which I'm going to show you here in a second here. So let's, let's just start it up. Let's see if we can get it started. Hasn't been started yet today. shoots being closed off so when i put it up in the trailer i'm not blowing the sidewalls out so you can blow it put it up into the trailer very good piece of equipment it has saved me time i think i think if you have the money this is definitely a game changer for leaves it's much easier to use this especially when you got bigger properties you can just blow these i have not been able to stop the leaf blower yet so i don't know maybe when they're really wet and soaked i've had leaf piles up to here and i haven't been able to stop it yet so i don't know like i've been able to stop my little wonder but i've not been able to stop this yet uh, maybe when they get real soaking wet another thing that's pretty cool is you can see here this here is you can you can turn these and i can actually i can actually scour on one side but have it full blown on the other that's a really cool feature. Or I can just put them both down and scour the ground. Very cool feature. Um, awesome feature. Uh, they really, they really outdid themselves. And I, you know, Ferris has really impressed me over the last couple of years. It's become a company, guys. That you can, you can. They have stand-on mowers. They have ride-on spreader sprayers. They have zero turns. They have, they had, you know, they have. They bought Billy Goat. They they have debris loaders. They have you know ride on blowers now. They bought out Hurricane. They've really come a long way. Ferris, you know Ferris, Toro, Skag have become companies where you can just you can just stay in that brand and just be honestly just be all that one brand. Um, I do where I do have two Ferris spreader sprayers, and I've obviously you know I'm a big Ferris fan. I've I've used them in the past, but my thoughts on this blower it's just been a great blower uh it is to me a true game changer it is to me uh, something that every trailer should have if you're doing leaves if you're especially doing you know if you're doing condo associations you know walking the whole place you can blow off the driveways with this thing you you can ride it around you can you, you're not you're not expelling energy you can blow off if there's if there's woods in the back of the condos you can just go right along the wood line and just shoot them right into the woods and and he was like well you didn't need to do that you can buy a little one well you're walking all day guys leaves are tough you got this backpack on your back you know for hours and hours and hours on you need to lift more weights johnny well this is my 25th year and i can tell you that this has been one of the first years that i've actually enjoyed doing leaves because this thing is a true game changer.